Are there celebrities from the past who you loved, but who don't seem to have done anything lately? Do you ever find yourself thinking, where have they gone? They have no neck. The neck was gone. That's what flipped me, man. Well, in some cases, it's not because they don't want to be part of Hollywood anymore, it's that Hollywood doesn't want anything to do with them. These are blacklisted celebrities who mysteriously disappeared. Number 15. Brendan Fraser Brendan Fraser is most well known for his starring roles in the Mummy movie series as well as the box office hit George of the Jungle. But as Fraser was entering the prime of his career, he mysteriously disappeared from the red carpet. With no films for the better part of a decade, his stint in the shadows began to raise a few eyebrows. Fraser was the victim of sexual assault involving a top Hollywood producer, which clearly left the George of the Jungle star more than just startled. Understandably, Fraser wanted to distance himself from an industry which had abused him in such a way. On top of all this, Fraser went through a divorce with his now ex-wife, whose expensive alimony payments even left the actor having to ask for a reduction as he couldn't keep up with the $75,000 monthly payments. It sounds like Fraser's been through hell and back. Well, at least he's back. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. Someone who hasn't been in as many films recently as he used to be is the one and only Nicolas Cage. This all began in 2009 when his long-standing financial problems were made public. He had been squandering his vast fortune on everything from mansions to yachts to rare artifacts to exotic pets to castles to even a private island. There's nothing wrong with buying those things if you do have that money, but here's the thing. He didn't. He was spending money that should have gone to taxes. His reputation was tarnished, and casting agents avoided him like the plague. While he's made a few appearances since then, for example, Kick-Ass, he is nowhere near the megastar he once was. Comment down below with the hashtag OddTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Jim Caviezel for all of the reasons to be blacklisted from Hollywood, having it be due to your strong and devout religious beliefs isn't a bad reason at all. So when Jim Caviezel's career continuously hit roadblocks and hiccups on his path to fame and fortune, how did his Catholic beliefs and movie role choices contribute to his downfall? Surely he wasn't blacklisted for being religious. Jim Caviezel might not ring a lot of bells for many people, but the film Passion of the Christ by Mel Gibson probably does. Well, Jim Caviezel was the one who took on the daunting role of Jesus Christ, with Gibson even asking him not to take the role moments after Caviezel accepted. Gibson ominously told Caviezel that he would never be able to work in Hollywood again, as the tag of playing Jesus would follow him for the rest of his career. One of the greatest things about Mel Gibson was that he was a gambling man. Caviezel's religious beliefs led to difficulties in the acting roles when filming scenes with his romantic interests, particularly due to his refusal to strip naked for the camera. Whilst going nude in front of the whole crew and the millions watching the film is an intimidating proposition, Caviezel's reluctance was down to a deep devotion to his wife. Such a conservative approach to on-screen intimacy certainly could have put off potentially interested producers. Still, Mel Gibson is looking to recast Caviezel in his upcoming sequel to Passion of the Christ, so not all is lost. Number 13. Sandra Locke you would think that being the longtime girlfriend of none other than Hollywood legend Clint Eastwood would open a lot of doors for your acting career rather than have them slammed shut. Well, that was the reality for Sandra Locke, who found her career hit an all-time low after falling out with Eastwood. Locke was a great actor in her own right, with her film debut in the late 1960s leading to her getting nominated for the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her very first film role in The Heart is a Lonely Hunter. Oh, yeah. 
Locke would go on to star in countless movies, with a large handful of them being opposite Clint Eastwood, with their clear chemistry making it a no-brainer for Hollywood producers. However, when their love went stale and a messy breakup ensued, Locke's career began to dry up. There was a heavily supported rumor that it was actually Eastwood, of all people, who led the blacklisting of Locke. You said yourself you didn't think the whole thing would work. Forcing producers to turn their back on Locke and her career for over a decade. When things began to thaw out, Locke began to land roles again, but her career would never return to its former glory. Number 12. Thora Birch The name Thora Birch might not ring a bell, but in an alternate universe where her father and manager didn't physically threaten to beat up her co-star, she's probably a lot more well-known. Birch might not exactly be on the front cover of Hollywood magazines, but she did star in the film Hocus Pocus, which continues to rank highly in people's favorite Hollywood film list. The bona fide star of the late 1990s and early 2000s started as a child star, but would later go on to apparent obscurity thanks to her father and manager threatening a fellow actor during an off-Broadway revival of Dracula in 2010. Drama in Tinseltown isn't something new, but this event would go on to mark a changing point of her career. Rubbing people the wrong way and gaining a bad reputation isn't exactly a recipe for success in a business where personal relationships really are the difference between getting the nod or not. Whilst Birch wasn't directly involved in the heavily publicized incident, it certainly didn't do her career any favors. Number 11. Michael Richards if you're a fan of Seinfeld, you may find this next part particularly disturbing. If there's a reason to be blacklisted by Hollywood, going on a racist three-minute rant during a stand-up comedy gig is as good a reason as they come. The actor behind the Seinfeld character Cosmo Kramer, Michael Richards, lost his temper one fateful night at the Laugh Factory in LA and ultimately ended his career in one horrible swipe. The neck was gone, that's what flipped me, man. With some noisy guests ordering their drinks loudly and heckling Richards on stage, Richards flipped a switch and went on a spectacularly horrific racist tirade, which left everyone in attendance in numbing shock at what they were witnessing. For three whole minutes, Richards went on about lynching and other racial swipes, which would be remembered notoriously for years to come. In an industry as tightly knit as anywhere, incidents like this spread like wildfire, and it wasn't long before Richards saw all of his career moves go up in flames. Even South Park parodied the event in one of their episodes. Richards claims not to be racist, but it's more than understandable why other people think differently. Imagine this happened in the modern era of social media. Number 10. Monique. When Monique won an Academy Award for her role in the movie Precious, you'd be forgiven for assuming that her career continued in a steady incline for the foreseeable future. I would like to thank the Academy that it can be about the performance and not the politics. The reality, however, is that she was actually slowly faded out by an industry who turned their back on her as she refused to play the game. It all started when Monique refused to travel to the notable film festivals and campaign for her Oscar bid. She really twisted the knife in with the opening line of her acceptance speech thanking the Academy for awarding performance rather than politics. Ouch. Understandably, that rubbed some people the wrong way. She would later go on to knock those who were attached to the film in her stand-up comedy routine, with notable names such as Oprah Winfrey, Lee Daniels, and Tyler Perry being subject to her tirade. As if relations between Monique and the industry could get any worse, Monique decided to lock horns with none other than the powerhouse, which is Netflix. After being offered $500,000 to record a comedy special, Monique was left feeling insulted, as fellow comedians such as Dave Chappelle had been given almost $20 million more for their specials. Monique even went so far as to call for a boycott of the streaming platform. When the boycott fell flat, it's easy to see why Monique wasn't exactly held in high regard by those in the company, and so her career continued to decline. Number 9. Mel Gibson 
Mel Gibson was the pretty hot property in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s. Gracing movie screens all over the world, the actor was a humongous superstar, with films such as Braveheart and Mad Max carving his name into the film industry no matter how badly people wish they could just erase his career. But why would someone want to see Gibson out of the industry that he's so hugely successful in? Well, as if a drunk driving case wasn't bad enough, a now infamous drunk anti-Semitic rant would tarnish his reputation beyond belief. The sensational footage was spread far and wide, with everyone who heard it feeling betrayed that they had idolized such a man for so many years. Whilst most of the Hollywood elite have appeared to forgive Gibson for his tirade, the saying, forgiven but not forgotten, is very much applicable in his case. Gibson has begun his comeback into the industry with the acclaimed film Hacksaw Ridge starring Andrew Garfield receiving rave reviews. Whilst Gibson's directorial career seems to be in good shape, I doubt we'll be seeing much of the Australian in front of the camera anytime soon. Number 8. Jared Fogel Jared Fogel rose to fame as he became the spokesperson for the sandwich company Subway thanks to his publicized weight loss due to feasting on a diet filled with the brand's sandwiches. As well as eating Subway sandwiches, Fogel had horrific habits of being a sex offender towards minors. In a shocking investigation into the allegations, it was revealed that Fogel had a disturbing fondness for underage girls. After casually stating his fondness in a casual conversation with a co-worker while being mic'd up, an investigation was launched, which resulted in the former spokesperson receiving 15 years in prison in November 2015 for trading in child pornography and paying for sex with underage girls. Fogel went on to plead guilty to distributing and receiving child pornography and traveling out of state to engage in illicit sexual conduct with a minor. Yikes. Understandably, Subway has distanced themselves from Fogel after the allegations. Probably not the best person to have as the spokesperson person for your brand. Number 7. Stacy Dash You might know Stacy Dash from her role in the film Clueless, but you won't know her for much TV or film work due to her political beliefs causing the industry to blacklist her. So what did this actor possibly do to rub everyone the wrong way? Simple, she sent out a tweet endorsing Mitt Romney in the election against Barack Obama. Showing her hand and letting her followers and fans know that she is a black female conservative certainly did not please the masses. After after the tweet was posted and the bomb was ignited, her account was filled to the brim with people calling her out of touch and stupid for her political beliefs. Her agent dropped her and she stopped being requested to attend auditions. All seemed lost, until Dash decided to fight back through releasing a book which documented her troubled life, which included drug-addicted parents who even offered her cocaine at one point in her upbringing. The hope was that this book would shine a light on her life and prove that it wasn't all glitz and glam and out of touch, as some people had assumed when they heard her conservative-leaning beliefs. Wild. Just goes to show you how powerful social media is. Number 6. Charlie Sheen when you're blacklisted from Hollywood, sometimes the one band can be a sympathetic figure whose heart was in the right place and the intended bad press was a total miscalculation of the situation, where the whole ordeal can seem unfortunate due to show business being a fickle career to make your living in. But then there are people like Charlie Sheen who literally threw away a successful career full of accolades, fame, and fortune. Or should I say, snorted away. Charlie Sheen had one of the most infamous public breakdowns in living memory. One of the highest paid TV actors in the world, the troubled star was paid almost two million dollars per two and a half men episode. Instead of enjoying his privileged position, Sheen threw it all away by enjoying it a little too much. Decades of drinking and drugs culminated in a body and mind which was eternally scarred and erratic. Producers avoid Sheen like the plague for fears that one of his infamous outbursts are just around the corner. However, Sheen is now clean, so hopefully the future is brighter than large parts of his past. Number 5. Macaulay Culkin Macaulay Culkin was one of the most famous kids in the entire world back in his heyday of the 90s. Such classics as the Home Alone films continue to be fan favorites to this day.
But with such a famous and immeasurably successful childhood, where did it all go wrong? And how come we don't see Culkin on the big screen anymore? Well, it all started at home, with the abusive and jealous father figure who worked Mac to the bone to make the most of his opportunity to shine. Considering their humble beginnings, it's understandable why his dad would want him to make the most of his multi-million dollar paydays. But imagine starring in 15 films in just seven years. No wonder Culkin decided to sit out from the industry and try and enjoy a bit of normalcy for a change. Speculations that Culkin was addicted to heroin and all kinds of wild rumors that floated around those who become child stars doused Culkin's reputation in conspiracy theories and tabloid headlines which were based on very little truth, if any at all. By the time Culkin wanted to return to acting in Party Monster, the ship had well and truly sailed. That being said, Culkin is set to star in an upcoming series of American Horror Story. I'm just waiting for the Home Alone reboot to be announced, to be honest. Number 4. Harvey Weinstein Harvey Weinstein is a name which was once associated with being the powerhouse behind astronomically successful films and their production. Nowadays, Harvey Weinstein has come to symbolize something a lot darker and more horrific. The abuse of power, which led to countless accusations of assault, which kick-started the iconic Me Too movement across the world and entertainment industry. Weinstein may now be behind bars, but his heinous abuse continues to live long in the memory of his countless victims who he pressured into alleged sexual acts with the fear that he would blacklist your career if you refused. The American film producer used to be the king of Hollywood, with his Weinstein Company film studio seeing him as a regular attendee of the award season's events. Dad would do well, and then he'd crash well and crap. Whilst his films picked up accolade after accolade, the murky truth of Weinstein's conduct continued to plague Hollywood until he was eventually called out in October 2017. This started a tidal wave of alleged victims coming forward to accuse Weinstein and other celebrities of awful misconduct. If there's anyone who should be blacklisted from Hollywood, Weinstein must be at the top of the list. In the meantime, Weinstein is stuck behind bars for 23 years to think over his decades of tyranny. Number 3. Richard Simmons Richard Simmons is the fitness guru of all fitness gurus, with the eccentric workout leader being a popular figure in his heyday. A regular fixture of US chat shows and with over 20 million workout videos sold at the peak of his powers, the public loved Simmons and Simmons loved the public. This intense popularity clearly wore out Simmons more than his workout routines wore out his countless fans, as it seems he unexpectedly disappeared from the public eye in 2014 with the only reason offered to his shocked fans being that he wanted to spend more time alone at home. Understandably, this puzzled his fans, who started begging for more of an explanation. Why would someone just want to stay home and be cut off from the world and their adoring fans all of a sudden? One more. Oh, okay. <laughs> One more. And mom, you can move your little buns here. Okay. And Oprah, you can be right here. Thank like with anything, speculation and conspiracy theories looking to get to the bottom of the real reason for Simmons' exit began to circulate. One rumor which really grabbed a hold of everyone was the idea that his housekeeper of 30 years was keeping Simmons trapped behind bolted doors. Far from being held hostage by his housekeeper, Simmons came forward and addressed the wild rumors by the 71-year-old stating that he's not not being held against his will and that he just fancied being a bit of a loner. Hmm, sounds like something someone who's being held against their will would say. Number 2. Vince Vaughn you probably know Vince Vaughn from one of the countless hilarious comedies he's starred in over the years. I mean, it's the kind of thing where literally I play the game and it's like four hours go by. But with his star power at astronomical levels in the noughties, you might be wondering recently, where did Vince Vaughn go? There's a range of reasons why Vaughn has been pretty vacant from the red carpet in recent years, with some of it being his own choice. When Vaughn became a father and a husband, he loved it a lot more than he ever expected to. With Vaughn pretty comfortable in his single life, he didn't see himself as much of a family man until his time to ring the wedding bells and change the nappies came around. But part of his absence 
has been due to his publicly held political beliefs. Being a conservative in Hollywood isn't exactly the most popular of choices to shout about, so when Vaughn made his political beliefs known, he was distanced by film producers across Tinseltown. Comments that schools should be equipped with guns to prevent mass shootings didn't exactly go down well with the public either. After also making some comments which angered the LGBT community, Vaughn's stock and public appeal fell through the floor, along with his distaste of doing the same comedy films over and over again. However, since partnering up with other individuals who hold the same political beliefs as Vaughn, such as the controversial Mel Gibson, and his recent inclusion in more drama-based roles, the door to fame and fortune is certainly not closed for this powerhouse. Number 1. Katherine Heigl being a bit of a drama queen and a diva in show business is kind of expected from those at the top of the industry. Whilst some actors complain of bad coffee or general poor service, not many have rubbed people the wrong way, quite like Katherine Heigl. Heigl is most well known for her starring roles in the comedy Knocked Up and the TV series Grey's Anatomy. Even though Heigl won an Emmy for the latter, she would go on to bash both productions, much to the confusion of her fellow co-stars and crew. If you thought saying that something you starred in was crap was bad, Heigl went one step further when she flat out refused to be put in for consideration for an Emmy for her work in Grey's Anatomy. Amazingly, Heigl said that the material she was provided wasn't good enough to warrant the nomination for the award. Yikes. Catherine Heigl, Grey's Anatomy. I can't imagine the creators of the show were too happy to hear that. As if her diva-like behavior was bad, just wait till you meet Catherine's mom, Nancy. Nancy was notorious for complaining about every little thing on set, with her regular outbursts being almost a daily occurrence. This mom anger certainly didn't help to create a good atmosphere amongst the cast and crew of whatever production her daughter was attached to, and only added to a long list of reasons why Hollywood had begun to turn their back on Catherine Heigl. With a role on the TV series suits, thanks to Meghan Markle's departure to live her royal dream, Heigl could bounce back from this bad reputation yet. Maybe just leave mom at home, though. Losing your vastly successful career in the blink of an eye sounds rough. Although some of these people certainly can't say they weren't to blame. Can you name any other celebrities who have been blacklisted in recent years? Who would you like to see make a comeback from our list? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.